Guys, the new iPhones are here. Yes, the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Plus. On the whole, they may look the same from the outside, but they are critical new additions. The two biggest features being the addition of USB Type-C, yes, the port that Android users have been enjoying for many, many years, and the new camera system on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I have been checking these bad boys out and let's see how these additions will dramatically change your experience. The switch to Type-C basically means you no longer have to use that special Apple cable. In fact, it's become quite standard now and all gadgets, laptops, iPads, tablets use the Type-C port. And in fact, there is no going back. So you in fact can use the same cable to charge all Android products as well as the Apple products. So the USB-C allows for high data transfer speeds. How fast you ask? Let me explain with an example. What I'm holding here right now is the beautiful iPhone 15 Plus. Awesome, isn't it? Well, this has got a Type-C port and it supports USB 2 data transfer speeds, which means you're going to your destination, but you're going on a two-wheeler. You'll get there, but you'll take some time. However, let's have a look at this monster. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This again has a Type-C port, but it supports USB 3 data transfer speeds, which means you're getting to your destination in that fast Ferrari, vroom, vroom. <laughs> Things like 4K video editing and transferring large files to external storage can take advantage of the increased bandwidth of USB-C. In fact, filmmakers can now directly record to an external storage with high res recording. However, it's limited to the Pro iPhone 15s with a compatible USB-C 3 cable. One of the biggest updates that comes with Type-C is support for various third-party accessories. Be it your SD card, USB storage, or even an SSD for that matter, the latest iPhone 15 models support them all. That's not all, you can even connect a USB hub and use the SD card reader, HDMI, USB storage, and even Ethernet simultaneously, all while charging the iPhone. Apple has been so resistant to the port, and ironically, the USB Type-C could be its biggest update on the iPhone 15. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus have a new 48 MP main sensor, offering better details and image quality. The iPhone is shooting photos at a higher resolution by default for the very first time. In this case, it makes images at 24 megapixels. Plus, the super high-resolution photo mode lets you capture high-res 48MP images. Thanks to the 48MP sensor, these iPhones offer a 2x sensor crop, which is quite nice, especially in low light. The Pro models feature a new 48MP primary sensor that allows more light and has a nanoscale coating to reduce lens flare. You can now seamlessly switch between three different main camera focal lengths. The iPhone 15 Pro Max introduces a groundbreaking periscope telephoto camera with 5x zoom, enhancing the optical zooming capabilities on iPhones. The 5x telephoto camera also has a 3D sensor shift module for improved camera stabilization. Apple has also improved Smart HDR, Portrait Mode and Night Mode for richer colors and better low-light performance. Portrait Mode allows you to adjust focus after capturing the shot. And here's a quick rundown now of the megapixels in the iPhone 15 camera lineup. So to round things up, it's the addition of the Type-C port and the new cameras that are going to be the big talking points for most people. But what do you folks think? Let us know in the comments below. Till later then.